Hey guys, I'm Mark Springer, and you probably know me from uh, a seven or eight seasons and 100 episodes on Shipping Wars on A&E. You've probably seen my Kenworth, and um, you know, since I've been doing this, I've been getting a lot of people asking me about how to do this, and how you start a trucking business, and give me some tips, and how do I, you know, this, and how do I that? So listen, what I decided to do is uh, start a YouTube channel here, and give everybody the way I do. Am I an expert? No. Am I gonna say I'm the number one best trucker in the country? No, you might think I am. But here's the deal. This is the way I do it. It works for me. I'm conscious of uh, safety. I try to abide by the law. I try to keep my equipment in good condition. I mean, it's a little dirty now, but I, you can see I got a load here. I just got back and uh, you know, it gets dirty, you gotta clean it up. So anyway, long story short, I'm gonna produce some videos and, uh, and just give, give, give some tips and tricks and you know, just the way, way I do things. And I'm hoping that you know, some of you will find some, uh, some information here that's useful to you, you enjoy it, have some fun with it. What I'm gonna do today, the first thing I'm gonna uh, do, the first video I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna talk about unloading this load I got here. Uh, this was kind of a tricky setup. I, uh, I loaded this stuff up in Iowa at the uh, Alumaline factory. And, uh, you know, I, I, was, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get it all on here. And with the help of the guys there at the factory, uh, you know, we ended up putting the Dodge up on the trailer, back the trailer up on the, on the Landall. And, uh, you know, it, I got it here safely. Uh, now I got to get it unloaded. I don't have all the guys at, at uh, Aluma Line to help me out. I don't have any equipment here to help me out, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. And that's a common situation. You get your truck loaded, you gotta unload it. Sometimes it's not easy. I'm not doing the same thing every time. It's always different, it's always in a different location. I'm not always at a, you know, a, a facility that has a lot of equipment. Sometimes I'm just out in a farm field. So. Basically what I'm going to do today is um, I've called in a friend to bring me out a forklift. It's a great all. And what I'm going to do is, is get this uh, flatbed off this deck. I'm going to figure out how to hold up this trailer with that gray doll. And I'm going to try to roll this thing with my Dodge on top of it off the back of the trailer. Then hold that up with the gray doll and drive the truck off the back of that trailer. So we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm pretty pretty partial to this load. It's mine. I don't want to screw anything up. I don't want to have any damage. I don't want to flip my truck off of there and total it. I've had that Dodge since 99. I love that truck. So I'm going to take my time and try to do a good job, and uh, I'm going to take you along with me. So let's go do it.
I'm happy we got it off there. Fortunately, we got some help today. <laughs> Always good to have more eyeballs. As you can see, mission accomplished. No damage, truck and trailers off, both backed up into the yard. Took a little doing. Somebody else might have done it a little different than I did it, but uh, at the end of the day, guess what? I got the job done. Fortunately, I had some help from some people, which was awesome. Some guy came driving by and recognized me from the show and wanted to watch, and next thing you know, I handed him a radio, and he's helping me out, and uh, you know, he's, he's a big, big asset. So that's how it works. Don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Uh, think about what you're doing. I had to think this out a little bit. It's the first time I'd done this. And, uh, you know, I just like to, uh, I just like to make sure that you understand this is just a, this is just me doing what I do. I'm not trying to, be an expert and tell everybody this is the only way. I'm not trying to say I'm the greatest, the best, you know, float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. All I'm trying to say is this is how I do my job. And I work for myself, so I don't have to listen to somebody else tell me what to do. I know a lot of you guys are out there working for yourselves. That's the beauty of this country. You can work for yourself. So there it is, number one. To wrap this up, I want to make sure that I tell you, because that's why I'm doing this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Everybody, if you're watching this, just click on the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get this thing rolling and I need your help to do it. So subscribe, enjoy it. Got more coming, tune in. We'll see you next time. Adios.